Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rafael from iFix Logic Boards and today we have an iPhone 6S with no backlight. Uh, the phone powers on, it works. You can hear it uh, charging. Uh, and you can see a very faint uh, picture, but you can't, there's no backlight. So let's take it apart and see what's going on. Uh, and before we take it apart, I, I did notice that uh, the front is, you can see a bent, uh, even though it's not on the board side, but you know, this obviously had some physical damage, so hopefully it's not too bad. All right, let's disassemble this puppy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, or the first thing I noticed is that the shield is missing. Uh, that covers the uh, processor and everything else. And I'm not quite sure is that flux or what, but you can definitely tell that the diode is burned out. And uh, this other diode is actually, seems lifted. Like it seems like it's kind of in the air. You see that? So I'm not sh that's <laughs> that was a big burn out there. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to remove the uh, diode. I'll see if I can do that with just the soldering iron. Try to destroy this. I'm just gonna tin uh, the edges or try to actually like destroy this diode without putting any heat. So here are the pads. I'm gonna check for shirts. That beep is something we do not want, which is the anode signal. Okay, so you can see I just removed the diode and I'm gonna remove this one as well. Even though right now I shouldn't worry too much about it because apparently if it's not there, it's the backlight should still work. But you can see it's actually like lifted. Okay. Uh, the main thing right now is that we have a short on the anode line. It's the reason why the diode burn out. So if I check for short to ground, we get the beep and that's not good. So that means um, the capacitor, this one or this one are bad or the chip itself shorted. Now this capacitor looks pretty good. This one looks good too. I'll kind of say it's the chip and the easiest way to check that would be to actually turn it on so I'm gonna plug the battery or actually not yet let me plug the screen and then I'll plug the battery so it should be turning on right now and I'm gonna put some alcohol on top of it just to see how fast stuff will evaporate Okay, so right now I have the uh, welcome screen because the phone was restored. And the chip, if it will be shorted, it will actually start, it will just evaporate that 
uh, alcohol because it'll be getting super hot. And I'm touching with my finger right now. And I'm not, I'm not feeling anything. Yeah, so the shoulder was on this side. So it's this, this, and goes to the uh, IC here. Or actually, the IC sets the, um, sends out the, the signal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to remove this diode and see maybe if that's doing something here. So let's kill it first and I'll try to remove that diode without hot air. Of course because I'm doing the video nothing wants to work. So let's see, maybe that somehow relieved the short. Well, the pad is still there. So that's good. Would it be the cap? The big ass cap. All right, so I kind of decided that I'm going to try to uh, remove the cap first. I'm going to put some of my shields on the CPU to protect it from heat. Got about the glue. Let's clean that up a little bit. Okay, this cap is out. The board is still hot, but. Whew, there you go, you see? No more short. This is ground, and this is a clear path. So, this little guy was our issue. So, now I'm just going to uh, pad these, uh, put solder on these pads. So, it's going to be easier to solder the new capacitor. in the other pads as well for the diode wonder if the filter is too good we shall see so let me replace those components and see what's gonna happen okay so I'm putting some flux and I'm going to replace the uh, capacitor and both diodes <clears throat> which I already put here on the side okay where's the other diode so here's the capacitor here's the diode and uh, I don't see which way it actually points much flux. I should put this on here. The alcohol is still present. This diode, it's easy to tell how it goes because the pad, the pads are different size and they just match the board.
All right, so I just uh, replaced the capacitor and both diodes. And there's no more short. I'm going to pop the battery and pop the screen and hopefully we get backlight. So I'm plugging the battery. Nothing's happening. And let's press power. And still getting nothing. That might be because the filter itself might need to be replaced. So let's do that very quick. Unplug the battery. The short was on on anode. This filter might have, you know, got damaged. But still shows continuity. Yep. Hey, doing this with one eye because I cannot see it. Is it? there okay let me you know I'll just show you once it's replaced because yes, looking through one eye sucks All right, so here's the filter okay so let's plug this in plug in this in Get some power Still having no backlight. I'm gonna measure the voltage on the capacitors and see what kind of voltage we are getting. 3.6. I wonder if the diode, I mean the coil, needs to be replaced. Now, just I just used, started using Dremel, which is kind of cool. I don't have it here, at least I don't think I have it here, but with coils, I like to just use my soldering iron and just kind of go for it, it's kind of another way you can do it. But Dremel is definitely a lot easier, because unfortunately we're next to the processor and we want to heat that. All right, so here's the situation. So far we replaced the capacitor because it was shorted and then we replaced both diodes. This one was burnt as hell. This one was lifted and then I replaced the coil. So at this point, oh yeah, and we replaced the filter as well. Where is it, that filter there? So the only thing left would be uh, the booster IC itself. So I'm hoping this one will actually work this time. Plug in power. <laughs> Got the backlight. That's awesome. So because of this little guy here, let's try to focus. Can you see this little capacitor? Nothing shorted and kill the rest of the circuit. All right, so we got the backlight working. Uh, it took more than a usual. Usually it's just a filter, but in this case, it was a burnt capacitor that killed the diodes and it, um, the coil, which on 6S uh, likes to go out apparently. So uh, if you have the same issue, go to ifixlogicboards.com. If you have any questions, leave a comment, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you later in the next video.